What's up you guys? It is your girl Brittany Nicole and I'm back again with another video and today I have a extra pop out girl you better slay um get ready with me for back to school you know i'm sorry to break it to you girls but back to school is around the corner my school starts in two weeks i believe i go back to school on the 25th and i'm not ready for college and class again like college is stress stressful if you guys want a college advice video let me know in the comments down below i can really do that for you guys but this is the look we're gonna be doing something real extra real cute you know pop out let the girls and boys know that this summer we did not play we we came to slay so yeah you want to let the ladies know what they were missing while you were away and while you were living your best life this summer so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna pop out if you guys want like a realistic every day like this is definitely not something i would wear to school every day but i feel like for the first day of school i like to wake up early you know get all cute and pop out you know the new boys be at school and stuff you want to have a good first impression but that's another thing when you come to class you want to have a good first impression you want to look your best because teachers really be judging you like they really be judging you on the low Anyways, so yeah, if you guys would like to see how to get this look, please continue watching. All right, y'all, so to start off the get ready with me, we're gonna begin with hair. Um, your girl sleeps in a bonnet, as you should too. A lot of people get upset because they have dry, crusty hair, dry, crusty edges, but it's like, girl, you don't even wrap your stuff up at night. Keep it nice and silky. So last night, I washed my unit and put it on so i'm just gonna take it down it's still a little damp but we're just gonna freshen up the curls i keep my edges tied down because this is a frontal wig and i want my hair to be laid so i'm gonna keep my edges tied down while i do my makeup all right so this is d store hair peruvian natural wave in 26 24 24 with a 20 inch frontal i custom made this unit myself i sewed it up you know stitched it up real cute and stuff by myself and i plopped it on last night and i tied it up put it on went to sleep and now we're here so we are going to show you how i prep my hair for the day <sighs> okay so literally all we're gonna use on this hair is water hawaiian silky miracle worker 14 in one this is just what i had um my mom used to use this in my hair when i was younger um it does good stuff for your hair so i'm just gonna do this because i want to keep the natural wave of the hair and have it look like effortless because you know we're gonna do an extra look so i feel like for school the way to get away with being extra is like be extra but have something that looks effortless so like if your makeup's on 10 like your hair has to look semi like okay like all right like it's cute but like you could have like straightened it or curled it or your outfit has to be a little like laid back so that you don't look like you're doing too much i'm just gonna tell you about the specs of the hair so this hair was super nice quality um the bundles are very soft in texture um i can put in a clip in here i think that i took of the hair straight out the box um it came with a different texture you know how when you um receive hair it comes with a texture and then you wash it this is the hair after it's already been washed so it's super nice quality hair very soft um the only thing i can say is that i did experience wow that's rude some shedding which is a little bit annoying but i feel like that's partly my fault when i received the hair um the knots do not come pre pre-bleached but the frontal was already plucked what i had to do was bleach the knots and there was like a whole bunch of drama going on and you know we love the drama so i was on the phone with my friend and i forgot that my freaking frontal was um was processing with the bleach on it so i left it on there for like an hour and I feel like that's why I got so much shedding out of my frontal and my frontal's kind of dry because of that. But all, everything else about this hair is super cute, really nice. Um, the bundles are very full. We have three bundles in here with um, a frontal. So it's pretty full. When I dry my hair and it fluffs out, like 
when I like brush the hair out it's like really big which is really cute if that's what you like so the hair is really full and nice in texture not too much shedding but I did get some but this is affordable hair so can't really be too mad at it and yeah it's perfect for back to school all right so now that the hair is all saturated I'm gonna take my Hawaiian silky and spray it out of here it's like a thick conditioner texture so put that in there I'm just gonna lather it up I want to use a cream instead of like some type of heavy-duty mousse or um, gel because I want this hair to keep it's like a soft texture I want it to be movable and have some like you know, I just want it to be cute and not stiff. So I didn't want to put gel in here because this hair is wavy and it's not curly. So I don't really have to worry about too much frizz. And another key is after you put this stuff in it, just leave it alone. Don't touch it. Stop manipulating it. Just let it dry up the way you put the um, product in. So I'm just going to spray more of this. So for the top, I'm going to use this lot of body wrap me foaming mousse really simple and I'm just gonna put a little bit in here my mousse is broken like it's just water right now so I'm just gonna rub it in and put it up top like this this is just gonna keep the hair going in a downward motion because we don't want to look fluffy and another thing that I did last night when I was making the unit I just hit the hit the part with a hot comb real quick this is how long the 26 inch hair is on me and if i were to straighten the hair it would be down to like my hip bone and i'm pretty tall i'm like five nine so i really enjoy the length i'm just gonna let it sit and dry and we're gonna start with makeup <laughs> all right so i look a little crazy i went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera with some Anastasia dip brow and some LA Pro Girl concealer. So next we're gonna go in with eyeshadow. So my eyes look really light because I primed my eyes with that LA Pro Girl concealer. And you know, we wanna pop out a little bit, show the boys and girls that we glued up a little bit this summer that we're not here to play games this semester. So I think I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 350 palette and my Jaclyn Hill palette and try to make a look. Um, this is probably what I would be doing if I was getting ready for school, you know. Just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do as I do it. So I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe brush. It doesn't really have a name. It came in some type of little pack. I don't know, I'm not a professional makeup artist. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with this fluffy brush and I'm gonna take a transition color I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm just gonna bring it up in my crease now this is not gonna be perfect I said extra not perfect so it's gonna be cute but you know in the morning you don't really have time to be trying to be up perfect it's like I'm not freaking James Charles people okay so don't be in the comments having hella expectations because, oh, girl, not in any way. I'm Brittany. You feel me? All right, now you guys can see me really well. So we went in here with this transition shade. I'm just going to try to darken it up a little bit more. And now we are going to take this orange and mix it with this one. Same brush because, you know... Who cares and I'm just gonna take it on the outer part and really work that in there as well I'm gonna go in the um, Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna grab this really pretty brown right here and kind of add some definition and color into my outer corner. Looks a little J 
janky right now, but girl, we're gonna get there, okay? And whatever I can't fix, lashes will. All right, now that that's all blended, we're gonna go in with this shade right here. We're gonna mix buns and mocha, and we're just gonna try to darken this up a little bit more. We're gonna go back in with this transition shade and just try to blend everything together a little bit better. Now that that is done, we're gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette. We're gonna pick a pretty ass shimmery color. I'm gonna take the color in light, go in with my middle finger, and I'm just gonna tap that on with my finger on my lid. Girl, this is cute. All right. So this is the eye look so far. Now I'm going to. Coat my eyes with some mascara. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And I'm just gonna coat my eyelashes to prep for lashes because we are doing a extra makeup look. Now I'm going to take these lashes. I'm not sure what they're called. And I got them from my lash lady. I'm just gonna pop these on off camera with some hair glue because we're real ghetto and I'll be right back. All right, so the lashes are on. Well, on our face, we're gonna use our Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the color Nutmeg. This foundation is so good. Like. Now that that's done, we're going to highlight our under eyes. I'm going to take the color Pure Beige. Okay, so now that all that's on there, it gets gonna blend. Like our life depends on it. Y'all really gotta make sure y'all blend. Because if you wanna be snatched, you gotta blend. And that's where people go wrong. You wanna do a bright highlight and contour, but don't wanna blend it out. I mean, you looking crazy. Now that we are all blended, we're gonna grab our Airspun Loose, perf loose Face Powder. And I'm gonna coat my sponge with it. And set my under eyes. On the chin. And we're set. Now we're gonna take a powder brush and our Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. And we're just gonna. brush under our eyes off and boom now i'm just gonna wipe off my lips because it's freaking driving me crazy so one second all right now we are going to contour so to contour i just take a little angled brush if you guys want a more detailed tutorial on how i do my face routine you guys can check out my little what is it everyday makeup routine i'm gonna pop it up in one of these corners right here y'all can click on that after y'all finish this and i'm also going to only get down below so you guys can see how i really do my makeup this isn't really a tutorial though this is a get ready with me so i'm not really spilling too much tea but but yeah i'm just gonna contour my cheeks and my forehead track, 
Now I'm going to contour my nose with the same powder I contoured my face with, the Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade Milk Chocolate. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and brush the axis off and then I'm just gonna contour my nose real slight like that. And now we're gonna go in with some highlight. For highlight, I'm gonna take the Laura Geller highlight and I'm just gonna put it on the high points of my cheeks. Be a glistening. Now I'm gonna take my pinky finger and highlight the bridge of my nose. Just bring everything together. I'm gonna do a little tinker at the bottom. I'm just gonna bring that up, blend it out. All right, and lastly, this is not lastly, and then we're gonna go in with our blush palette from e.l.f. Literally all of these steps are in my everyday makeup tutorial, so if you guys wanna have a more detailed video, then you should go watch that, but I just like putting this on the high points of my cheeks because it brings color back into my face. Then I'm going to, what else do I wanna do? Oh yeah, our under eyes. So I'm gonna take the, now that our under eye concealer is done and everything's all set in place, I'm gonna go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna take this color and this color. And I'm gonna just blend them together and, um, smoke out my under eye a little bit to make it more dramatic because you know we love drama that big ass brush is not a good idea the face i was making just now was probably so crazy but yeah now that we have a little bit of color under here and our top and bottom is connected, I'm gonna go in with some mascara on my under eyes, that same mascara I used earlier. We're just gonna go under there real really cute. Cute. And our last step is we're gonna take some highlight on a little baby brush and we're gonna highlight our inner corners and then I'm gonna untie my hair and we'll be done. We're gonna grab some Vaseline. Moisturize your lips under your lip gloss, ladies, because that's just nasty. Like, I hate that feeling. Just straight lip gloss on dry lips, like, ew. And then I'm just gonna take some Kate brand red lipstick that I got, like, when I was, like, how old? I don't know. But I'm gonna use this and just tap it on my bottom lip to add some color. Blend it in with my finger. Charlie, you bit me finger. And then I'm gonna go in with some lip gloss from the beauty supply store. And that concludes the makeup portion of this video. So I'm gonna back y'all up, take this scarf off, show you the hair and the completed look. And then we'll be done. We gonna untie you, girl. We gonna untie you, girl. I really did that on this look. I was really nervous because I don't really wear eyeshadow like that. So I was improvising. You know, I'm not gonna come on here and act like I know what I'm doing. Like, I did it as I went and it turned out pretty good. All right, so this is the completed look. You know, a little... 
Why does my stomach keep growling? Girl, I just fed you. Jeez. So I want this to show you guys what this hair looks like dried. So I just grabbed my blow dryer and diffuser and I'm just gonna put this on medium heat and medium air or high air and diffuse this real quick so y'all can see the hair in its natural state. so this is the hair mostly dried it is so cute y'all like this is the hair like this is the texture so beautiful this peruvian hair is clutch like i think this may be my favorite texture that i've ever gotten like i doubt i'll ever be buying body wave um again because this hair is so easy like it you can get the curly texture and then it's also like easy to straighten too if that's what you like so I really love this hair. It will be linked down below for you guys to check out if you guys would like. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you will not miss when I upload. I love you guys so much. We are so close to 50,000. Hopefully, I get this up before 50,000. We're like 2K away right now. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. The blessings are just pouring over. And I just want to thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate it. All these opportunities come my way. I wouldn't be able to get any of them without you. So thank you. Um, if you guys like this hair, remember it's down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.